Secretary of State Hillary Clinton is back from an overseas trip that took her to three countries over the weekend. But it's not her diplomacy that's making news. It is her appearance. She appeared with no makeup, natural hair and glasses, and the secretary makes no apologies. I feel so relieved to be at the stage I'm at in my life right now, Jill, because, you know, if I want to wear my glasses, I'm wearing my glasses. If I, you know, want to pull my hair back, I'm pulling my hair back. And, uh, you know, at some point, it, it's, uh, it's, just not, uh, it's just not something that uh, deserves a whole lot of time and attention. And if others want to, you know, worry about it, I'll let them do the worrying for a change. Lee Woodruff has been watching Secretary Clinton's makeover. And now she joins us at the table. And I love what Hillary Clinton just said. We have been looking at Hillary Clinton since she had the headband on a 60 Minutes piece years ago. And I love that she's saying, look, basically, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. If you want to worry about it and talk about it, it's on you guys. I love that. I love it, too. And I'm right in but her. But I hear a but. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> I, I've been talking to a lot of women mm -hmm. about this issue. And I, there, it's a very polarizing issue. And some polarizing of Polarizing how? Because... How I feel like you do. I feel like good for you. I'm tired of the double standard. I'm tired of the conversation always about a woman's looks. And, and Hillary. Hillary gets nailed. Do we do, did we do this to Janet Reno, to Indira Gandhi? Do we do it to Merkel? I mean, are they getting raked over the coals if they're having a bad hair day? The counterpoint that I'm hearing from other people, and they actually tend to be maybe younger than me, is a woman has a responsibility to be put together when yes. she's going out. Yes, but... This is not Hillary Clinton sitting around with her hair in a ponytail, not showering for three days, in her sweatpants, looking disheveled. She has on a suit, her hair is clearly combed, and she's wearing, I mean, and I say this too as a woman who walks around as soon as I leave this building mm -hmm. without makeup, with my hair up, half the time with my glasses on, you know, and, and I and, get it. She's not slovenly. There's not vomit on her collar. She's right. not showing up, you know, with her chin hairs braided. She is just deciding, you know what, I'm tired. Maybe I have an eye infection, so I'm going to wear my glasses today and not my contacts. And I don't need to explain mm -hmm. because I'm over 60. I personally love that. So do I. Charlie, really? I do. I, I'm, first of all, I think the fact that she's natural, I think the point she made about she, you should be allowed to grow older mm -hmm. as, you, as you do. And she's very comfortable in her own skin now, mm -hmm. especially now. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. And that's one of her more admirable qualities, of which there are many. Intelligence, uh, a work ethic, a whole range of other things, including feel natural about herself. And couldn't that be a great representation exactly. for women and for a woman in a role of power as we see her and a great message to mm -hmm. young girls that, yes, you should look presentable. Well, that I think we can agree on. Mm -hmm. but, yes. but it doesn't have to be you know, a presentable that involves pounds of makeup and only contact lenses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's an argument sometimes made that somebody, in terms of men, they don't look presidential, or if you're a president, you shouldn't do that. You perhaps can make a case for certain kinds of things like that. But this is so far away from that. Mm -hmm. I think part of the problem is we put our political figures and our celebrities in the same basket now. Mm -hmm. We should not expect our celebrity, our political well, figures mm -hmm. to be red carpet ready. This is not what they're doing. She's on a grueling four-city tour in Southeast Asia. She's got jet lag. She probably ate some bad food. I don't know that she did. Not trying to make news here. But let's think about what that's like. 18-hour days. Mm -hmm. She's just been in China dealing with that whole situation with that dissident. I'm exhausted thinking about her schedule. She puts her glasses on for a mm -hmm. couple of days. And, I, I think and we all sense. agree here, don't we? Yeah. Well, that's why I was trying this to come up with an alternate opinion. No, but, so. no, but you're right. So and, there, and there are people who so do true. feel differently. Yes. A lot but, of people, actually. But why doesn't this happen to men, Charlie? This would be good for you as the only man at the table. Why, <laughs> why aren't men under the gun in terms of if they don't look so great, they get big tummies or mm -hmm. their hair doesn't yep. look great? Why does this never happen to men? It's this totally sexist thing. Charlie's going to do an experiment. You're going to grow your hair and come in with some horn rims the next few days, and let's see what kind of male we get. We will be. No, we, no, we will hear that he's distinguished. Right. You know, and it's, no, you know men get gray hair. Yes, men true. wear glasses. Yeah. They're distinguished. You know, it's, and those are they, they have a little. They have a little weight. Well, that's because they're very successful. I would like to know, <laughs> you know? what Charlie thinks about that. Do you have an opinion about it? About why, well, why it's different? For oh, men I don't know. It, there's, a, for there's a gender women. distinction. I don't know. Yeah. The answer. But and do I? If if there is, I think it's unfair. This is. The next you know? glass ceiling for women. Let's stop. This is the, the next glass ceiling for yes, women. Yes, we are. Yeah. Yeah. Let's stop talking about how women look and what they do. That's how men are judged. And we say, go, Hillary. Hillary, just continue what you're doing. Absolutely. Okay. She's doing a good job, and that really should be the that's most the important. Message. But it's also perfectly okay to look 
terrific and smashing and wonderful. <laughs> That's we'll good, too. And put that smart. into the mix. And be smart. Yes. Let's not you know forget. What? Let's see. I'll come in tomorrow with no hair and makeup done. And see, I was almost going to do it tonight. I get to sit and see table. what you guys thought. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Thank you, Lee.